I decided to make this YouTube video to show you how I use the Raycor Heavy Duty Lift to get this rooftop tent up into that garage space. Hope you First thing I did was use a plumb line to go ahead and mark the center of the front bracket and the center of the rear bracket up in the ceiling for installation into the joist. As you can see here, I've already assembled the front and the rear assembly. Uh, they're practically identical. The only difference would be this piece here, uh, which contains a locking mechanism, which can be popped out. And then this here is where the pole will be engaged. And I'm going to use the uh, drill driver adapter. But this part here allows you to raise and lower uh, the heavy duty rack. And this metal piece here allows it to remain locked in place. It's a nice physical lock, very heavy duty metal. So I'm not worried about the uh, lift actually itself unwinding and letting the load uh, come down unexpectedly. So next thing we'll be doing is installing the track up in the ceiling. Here is one of the brackets installed. You can see there are lag screws every four inches throughout the arm. And then there are two installed here in just inside the central bracket. And again, continuing on, you'll see lag screws every four inches until we hit the other pulley on the bracket. This should allow a much better distribution of weight uh, along the arm through that stud up in the ceiling. And that will make it uh, a little bit more stable. As you can see, I've also installed the rear. All right, so there is the arm, the center, along with the pulley mechanism, and then the other arm. So again, I will be doing the assembly of the shaft here in a minute but you have to install these two brackets 48 inches apart, uh, which is three studs. So I'm going to go ahead now and assemble the shaft uh, that will help in raising and lowering the uh, weight and the load. As you can see, uh, the eye bolts and the hardware, along with the cable, has already come pre-assembled. All right, so it's already taken care of. All you have to do is install this on the shaft. Uh, and then as you put it up and down and go ahead and wind all this cable there uh, I've decided for my application. I'm going to keep these large eye bolts on there. They're very heavy duty uh, I am going to use at least a crossbar from the uh, Lift tray, but I'm not going to use the tray itself. Um, I will show you that a little bit later But I have some heavy-duty carabiners that are going to be uh, going through these large eye bolts here uh, and attaching to my half rack so I'm going to go ahead and put these up on the uh, frame on, along with the shaft and uh, I'll be back in a minute. So as you can see, the lift assembly is now on. Make sure when you do install this that the loop of wire goes on the outside and then on the inside. This will guide the wires over this roll here. Of course, the main shaft itself is adjustable. That allows you the chance to get the drive shaft in both ends and you separate it and then put the bolts in. I always like to stagger my bolts in nuts. And here is the other shaft again making sure that the wires come to the inside of the shaft and the loop goes to the back of the shaft that way again when it twists it comes up over the drum as you can see here i'm going ahead and leveled out my uh, bars so i am going to go ahead and use the bars with the eye bolts okay so side to side but uh, as i mentioned earlier i'm going to be using these heavy duty uh, carabiners here to attach uh, the lift to my half rack uh, if that works, then that's great. I'll leave the bars there mainly just for weight because you'll have one to the front and one to the back. But you want to definitely level this out before you get to using it. And you do that by adjusting the length of the cable, okay, all the way up here and to the back. It's not cut. That cable is actually, again, looped to the back. So you can adjust it left or right to get yourself level. Uh, if you do use the basket or uh, if I end up having to use the rooftop tent, uh, and storage by itself without the half rack, then I will be utilizing the bar. And then you can go ahead and adjust it uh, for her level by adjusting these two screws here and here, excuse me, these two bolts from the screw here and here to shift it up or shift it down to get level. But right now it's been leveled and hopefully with the eye bolts and carabiners, that's all I'm gonna need. All right, I know this looks strange, but I'm doing this for two reasons. One, uh, each of the buckets is filled with 50 pounds of river rock so that I can test the strength before there's any vehicles and she's holding up quite well again we're going to go ahead and test it with this uh should be around 200 pounds of rock and uh, if we do fine going up and going down manually then the next step will be uh, a test run with the rooftop tent all right well i got the buckets up into the ceiling 
Um, I quickly give up on the manual uh, as far as getting it up into the ceiling because honestly with the handle, uh, you really have to have good forearms, good shoulders, and I've had two rotator cuff surgeries done and it's really not gonna work for me. So I quickly switched over to the half inch drill bit adapter uh, and it went up great. Uh, just make sure you have a fresh battery and you definitely cannot use a 3 8 inch drill. Not only will the bit not fit, but most do not have the amount of torque required to go ahead and lift you know, at least the full weight. This is 200 pounds uh, up into the ceiling. So I'm gonna go to bed. Tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and get up, make sure everything's looking good, nothing's settled, nothing's separated from the ceiling. And as long as everything looks good, then we're gonna go ahead and raise the rooftop tent tomorrow. Well, as you can see, I was successful in getting the half rack as well as rooftop tent up with the hoist. Uh, it wasn't without some difficulty. As I lowered the rack to take it off the truck, uh, there was some slack and it unwound itself. Uh, so I think one of the things I'm going to work on in the spring is shortening those cables uh, so that they will be uh, the exact height uh, that I need in order to get uh, the rooftop tent and half rack off the back of the truck. But for now, she's working great. You can see I got plenty of clearance uh, above the uh, track there for the garage door as well as the spring and all the other devices. Uh, it's at the same height actually as my cargo box carrier here for the car. So I'm very happy. Uh, the carabiners worked out as I expected. There are 350 pound rated carabiners from Menards. And as you can see, I put them through the uh, factory eye bolt that came with the uh, lift. And uh, again, I did maintain the bars. I did not put the rack in for obvious reasons, but I think the bars are gonna work out nice. It'll help keep that distance. I was hoping it would help with a little bit of the weight, but again, that didn't work well. So again, I'm gonna re-engineer and I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the cables right here. Uh, to the height that I need in the springtime. But for now, in the winter, it's gonna work. I'm gonna just leave it up. Uh, tonight, I've decided not to park a vehicle in the garage just in case, uh, just like I did last night with the 50 pound bags of rocks times four, that 200 pounds held up nicely. Didn't see any settling separating from the wall. Um, but again, it's probably best that we not park a vehicle here uh, until we've tested it overnight and I recheck everything in the morning. So overall, I'm very satisfied. I give it a B. Um, for the price though, uh, it's definitely an A. Um, you can't beat it. I mean, for under $100, you can get this up in the, uh, in the roof and uh, it just requires either a lot of cranking with a manual turn uh, or a uh, high torque and a half inch drill to get it up into the roof. So again, very satisfied overall. Um, obviously the engineering, you know, we're making something that's designed to lift baskets uh, and, and cargo up into the uh, roof, work for a rooftop tent, uh, but we're not using buckets and, and storage bins here. So it's going to need a little bit more engineering, but uh, overall, very satisfied for the price. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, make your comments below.